So this video is going to review the steps required to update the firmware on the RidgeTech Summit 4 cellular camera. So the first thing we're going to check is the firmware version on the camera. So we're going to go to the tools menu down to camera information and then select firmware version and this will display the firmware version currently on the camera and then you can compare that to the website to see if your camera has the most up-to-date firmware. So in order to update the firmware we need to insert three files onto the SD memory card. The dramperra.txt file, the image.bin file, and the isp.bin file. These are the three firmware files required by the camera to update the firmware. So the what we're, so this is an example of an email um, that you would receive from us, including the three uh, files. Here is another example of an email using uh, Gmail. So just the differences between the Gmail and Outlook, for example. So the first thing we need to do is insert an SD memory card into our computer directly or into a card reader. And uh, most computers will pop up with this screen saying open folder to view files. And so we're going to open it. This is our SD card folder. Um, you can see here that uh, there's nothing in this folder. It's empty. This is the root directory of the folder. If you had anything in this folder, a DCIM or any other files, you're going to want to delete them from the, the camera menu at this time, or from the SD card at this time. Now I'm going to show you an example using Outlook. So we're going to select each of the files individually and say save as. I'm just going to cover up the screen here. I just got a whole bunch of files. But on the side here, um, you can see where we have the Dramperra folder and we're going to go down and select the removable disk and we're going to save that Dramperra file onto the SD card directly. And so we're going to do that for each of these images. Uh, you just work your way across, save as, and then save it to the memory card. And then you're going to have three files on the memory card at the end. So here are the three files saved onto the memory card, the Dramperra, the image.bin, and the isp.bin. One thing you're going to want to watch out for is if you are, already have these files on your computer, or you've accidentally downloaded them twice, you can get sometimes a copy. So you'll have a bracket with a two beside it or a bracket with copy. And so in that case, what you would do is go down and rename and just delete the extra two or any other information so that you have the files named exactly as shown here. So I've taken the memory card out of the computer inserted it back into the camera with those three files. Now we're going to go into the camera menu, over to the tools menu, and all the way down to upgrade. And then we're going to select upgrade, yes, and push OK. And so the camera will just display upgrading on the screen. Once the camera is upgraded, it will automatically turn off, after which we will just turn the camera off. So the upgrade will take oh, about 5 to 20 seconds depending on the camera and the firmware that's being installed. And then the camera will shut off just like that. And then we're just going to turn the camera off. And then you can turn the camera back on. And then we're just going to go into the menu and check to see that our new firmware was installed. So down to camera information, firmware version, and then push OK. And then we can see that the newest firmware was installed properly. Now just in the end here, I just wanted to show an example using uh, the Gmail or different online Hotmail or Outlook online. So. Down in the bottom here we have the three files. We're going to select download and it's going to save the file. In this case it just pops up at the bottom of my screen and uh, you can see the file there. 
Um, because I already have this file on my computer, you can notice how it saved it, Drampera1 in brackets. And so we'll do that for each of these, uh, downloading each of them. And it's, depending on your computer settings, it's saving them into the download folder. So if we go to our downloads, um, we can see all of these files here that were saved. And then after that, you can just uh, copy the files of interest and then um, save them or copy them and paste them onto the SD card. Um, to avoid getting the one in this case, you just need to delete those files prior to copying them onto your computer. Or as I mentioned earlier, you can just uh, save or rename, sorry, and then we're going to just delete that bracket in the space and then uh, then you would have the proper naming of the file for the camera to recognize it for the update.